day eight of the 31 days of BPD and I am on uh, the signs and symptoms so the, the nine signs and symptoms and I'm on number four today so I will read this out to you impulsivity sorry again this is taken from the DSM 5 diagnostic and statistical manual for mental disorders so impulsivity and at least two in at least two areas that are potentially self-damaging now it says in at least two areas I tick the box for all of them so but I'm going to read out the areas so spending sex substance abuse reckless driving binge eating so yeah they're the main areas where people suffer from impulsivity and I've talked about impulsivity in the in day one what is uh, BPD and so yeah so in um, so potentially self-damaging what does that mean well so for example we talked about good impulsivity so maybe someone saying you know let's let's set a challenge to climb Mount Everest or you know um, well, that'd be an impulsive move but maybe an impulsive thought or maybe you know you're having a fab day by the beach and then someone says let's go and hire a boat and go on the waves or something and other people might be like oh that's a bit impulsive and other people be like, oh yeah, he's so cool because he's really impulsive and it's brilliant. And that's absolutely wonderful to be that impulsive. But it's if you're being impulsive in a positive way. And with BPD, there's a huge sense of self-sabotage out there. So we're all linking to kind of self-harm, self-hate. And if you are behaving impulsively, you are likely to be doing something that... Sorry, if you are behaving behave impulsively as someone with BPD, then you are going to be doing something that's damaging because the 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 way you're sort of processing everything is kind of like well if i don't do this i you know you've got this huge fear of abandonment you've got intense unstable relationships so you're kind of almost <clears throat> living your life and then these impulsive behaviors kind of come in and then they make they make you kind of like no i shouldn't do that but but yeah actually if i do that it will take away from the pain it will take away from the horribleness i'll feel amazing if i do it i'll feel much better and i did with all of these so let's talk about spending spending um you know people think that if you're impulsive that you're just going to be going towards drugs and alcohol and and, and sex and things like that but actually a lot of the time the first people first place first place people go to is spending and i used to do this i mean i had a credit card many credit cards at one point um, and you know when I went out spending when I went out shopping I wasn't spending sort of 50 quid here and there it'd be a few hundred pounds at a time <coughs> and I'd get that rush that like oh, I've bought something new and just fill that void that, that emptiness you know that you've got this void in you and by doing these things it makes it lifts you it fills you up they all release dopamine in the brain which makes you feel awesome so if you're if you're if you're spending a lot of money you're going to get that rush and in order to kind of you know maintain that you've got to kind of then do more reckless behavior more impulsive behavior so that's spending me i got into a lot of debt um with spending um i used to spend money on lots of clothes makeup things like that nowadays because i know i have i still battle with my spending i only go to charity shops or ebay or secondhand places um, that way if I buy four items I'm not breaking the bank um, but I do have to um, what, keep an eye on my spending um, I I mean I compared to what I used to spend I just don't buy anything anymore so I've really got control of that one um, but let's talk about the others so spending is one sex is another um, if you go through my journeys um, videos you'll see that I was very promiscuous as a teenager and in my 20s I slept with a lot of people and would use sex to um, as yeah very impulsive thing you know I'd be like kind of carried away in the moment and would then have sex with people that maybe I shouldn't maybe people that were attached to other people and maybe people that were not right for me or maybe even dangerous so sex is another one you know it can be an addiction as well um, and sex can be lovely, sex can be wonderful, you know, with the right person and everything. But if you're constantly putting yourself in situations where you're maybe sleeping with the wrong people or putting yourself at risk, maybe getting involved in very dangerous sex or, you know, violent sex or something like that, you know, that feeling that I've, I've, I've I'll talk about this a lot, the conveyor belt feeling when you have BPD, this getting on the conveyor belt and not being able to get off 
So you'll kind of like impulsively get on this conveyor belt, which will take you, you know, you'll be like, oh, I'm going to take some cocaine or I'm going to drink loads or I'm going to smoke loads of cannabis. And then you're on this conveyor belt. Before you know it, you can't get off. It's, it's moving around. It's going faster and faster and faster. And you're on it and it's just spiraling and spiraling and spiraling. And it's too late. So you kind of almost stay on there to kind of keep yourself um, feeling normal, feeling good. So if you're not if you're not spending to make yourself feel good, you'll be sleeping with people or you know putting yourself at risk in other ways. So substance abuse, I mean, I have dealt massively with this. Um, first it was alcohol, um, and then it was cannabis, um, and that was very much both of those were my escape, uh, switch off, relax, um, you know, stop the pain, get rid of the pain. There's a lot of pain with BPD, physical emotional pain um, and yeah not not very nice so um, yeah substance abuse can be really bad for a lot of people can have suffer from serious uh, drug addiction alcohol addiction um, reckless driving now when I first saw this one when I got diagnosed I was like reckless driving it's a bit weird isn't it but <laughs> I didn't realize that I was already doing this um, and I don't mean kind of driving around the road going, you know, crashing into loads of cars. But I, what I would do, and I no longer do this, but what I would do would be to get in the car when I'm maybe angry, turn the music up really loud and go really fast, you know, maybe, you know, not break the speed limit, but maybe on like country lanes, kind of maybe braking a bit later and, ex, you know, exhaling a little, exhaling. braking quicker and accelerating quicker so you know just driving a bit recklessly and maybe having my music on so loud that I'd be singing along like you know and so yeah so reckless driving and I didn't think I did that and then when I saw it and someone else talked about it and about road rage and things like that I was like oh my word I don't believe I didn't know I was doing this but yeah reckless driving and finally binge eating I've talked about this in my binge eating disorder video this was something I mean I seem to move I was sort of went from spending sorry sex to spending then substance abuse then binge eating reckless driving and then at one point I was probably doing all five at the same time so so impulsivity in at least two areas that are potentially self damaging so that is spending sex substance abuse reckless driving binge eating now if you've got two of those then again you're very likely to be suffering with impulsivity issues if you have more than you know if you have more than two then my heart goes out to you if you have all five um, I'll be talking about how in, how to deal with these in later videos in this in 31 days of BPD but I hope that's explained impulsivity um, and it is something that completely takes away from your everyday life because you are you're not in control and you could be having these impulsive thoughts while you're at work, distracting you from what you're doing. Yeah, just a really, really dangerous place to be. So if you're having to deal with any of those right now, my heart goes out to you. You will get through it. There's more stuff coming up that will be really useful for you. Today has been day eight of the 31 days of BPD. Thank you for joining me. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and maybe share this to someone share this with someone if you think it might be useful for them thanks for watching take care and we will see you next time bye now